Welcome to the Believer's Voice of Victory from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. Download the notes at kcm.org slash notes. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Believer's Voice of Victory. Pastor George is back for day number what? This is day number 214 of our teaching on prosperity. <laughs> of prosperity teaching. <clears throat> George, you ought to be prospering. I am. I'm, I'm a prosperous you. man. I'm a prosperous grandfather. I'm, Amen. A pros I'm just prospering spirit, soul, body. And you just put the word out so everybody socially. else can prosper. Great things are happening in Church our lives. Church is prospering. We're enjoying life and Isn't enjoying cool? Jesus. I'll tell you. I'm it's, so thankful. And it's getting better and better yeah, all the time. The more you know to enjoy, the more yep. you can enjoy. Yep. We are. We are. Well, Hallelujah. Gloria, I'm so glad that we're on the broadcast together. You know, you said to me, this was in 2011 when we started teaching on prosperity. And I said, you know, you just can't exhaust the subject of prosperity. You said, let's try. You're doing a great job. So we're job. trying to exhaust, <laughs> and there is no exhausting the subject of prosperity. So this is day... 214, day 214. 214. And today... That's these amazing, George. You're a walking prosperity... Book. Well, I've had some really good teachers, you know. Well, you and you Kenneth sure have been student. you have been outstanding in my life and I just so appreciate what I appreciate what you have deposited into my Praise life. God. And how my life has been completely changed by this message. And you know, you and Kenneth Brother Copeland, they are, you, you two are really, you're something else. You are. Well, but we don't know for sure what else. You are something else. <laughs> I mean, uh, just seeing the way you, uh, you operate in your faith and the integrity that you walk Praise in, God. the love for people and the compassion for people that you Appreciate have. Him. And you are a constant example, not only to me, but to all of our family. Uh, all of the kids. We have a great family. We God. really do. And Nobody's we've, mad. Anybody. No, and, and for instance, I was thinking about Jenny, um, Kelly's, one of Kelly's daughters, and she's, she's getting ready to start an orphanage in Greece. Um, I was thinking about Jeremy and Sarah and how they are just launched out into their ministry. And, yeah. and Cody and Aubrey and what they're doing and just all of them, That's all awesome, of the family. That's awesome, isn't it? That no, no rebellion in this family. And it's the Word of God that has been taught by Kenneth and Gloria to us. Praise God. Is now being passed down to our children's children. That's, that's where it's going. And, and really, you know, um, Aubrey's daughters... Uh, Eileen and Kaylin, they love watching Wichita Slim. They so enjoy <laughs> they really? Wichita Slim. We'll have to tell Ken about that. Oh, oh man. And and what was it the other day we saw Kenneth on TV and, and Kaylin said, that's my papa. Did she? So they oh, love, God. they are trained to love the Lord with all of yeah. their hearts. They're trained in the word of God. Love the family. Kenneth had a word for Kaylin at her baby dedication, baby dedication, and talked about Kaylin and She Eileen. was the baby. Kind yeah, she's the baby, and she's now she's going to be, she will be turning three here very soon, or she's already turned three. Uh, but Eileen, who's her older sister, she's five. Well, Kenneth prophesied over the two of them and called them the healing sisters. Praise God. So we just that will be interesting. We just fortify that. We just nurture oh, that. Yeah. We just talk to them about that, and just talk to them about what they're going to be doing, and let they listen to the word every night. Praise you know, God. the girls had been with us for a week or so, and, and, and uh, we have this Peaceful Praise mm. CD that Kelly's. we played. It, well, no, it's yours. Oh. You and Kenneth. Oh, okay. And you, there's music, and then you and I'm Kenneth read scripture. Emma. You, not on this one. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so, and we, we play it for them every night, and they're hearing you speak the word into their lives. And they have, their, their faith is growing. It's awesome, isn't it? It's developing. Now, we're talking about that. We're talking about no more limits. No hey, more limits. no more limits. It's time to break through. The Lord has given us some big assignments here at Kenneth Copeland Ministries at the church, and he's giving you big assignments too. If you're daring enough, if yeah. you're willing enough to take those, to break through whatever limitations there are, and to enlarge your capacity to receive everything that God has set before us. And we're learning how to do that. Praise God. Yesterday on the broadcast, we began talking, Gloria, about the principle of total immersion. That's what you and Kenneth did mm -hmm. when Kenneth was at ORU and you were listening to Brother That's Hagen right. going over to his place for the 10-day seminars. Those 10-day seminars were, were, were uh, catapulting you into your ministry. 
You were totally immersed. That's and I'll right. tell you, the we more... We did not miss. You didn't miss any of them. It, I mean, ice on the road, we just slipped our way over there. <laughs> and Slip, I mean, sliding We had to have the, way the there. word. Hallelujah. Well, that... I'm convinced that those 10-day seminars expedited oh, yeah, and accelerated no your stepping out into ministry. It was the foundation. It was the very foundation for it. I would dare say sure also foundation. that, yeah, and I would dare say that had you not done that, it would have taken you a lot longer. That's right. But the Lord spoke to you in 1967. But He had us there. At that he time. had you there. Mm -hmm. He had you there. In Tulsa. And it was available to you. Many people miss this. There'll be meetings taking place and they don't go. For whatever reason, they don't oh. go. And we it's don't realize our, our lives, our faith, are built upon one message on top of the other, on top That's of the right. other, on top of the other, until, until those messages grow on the in, inside of us. I remember hearing one time about Brother Hagin telling this story. And he was preaching somewhere and he was preaching on Mark eleven twenty three. And he said, a man came up to him and said, when are you going to move off of Mark eleven twenty three? And Brother Hagin looked at him and said, when you get it. That's right. That's so right. this word has to be preached and preached and preached and preached until we get it, until it lodges down on the inside. And we have to become what we're talking about today, single-minded. Amen. Oh, we have to become single-minded on word the Word of God. Renew our mind and tell yes. it how to think, what to say, and you'll come out. What does the word, the we use the phrase a lot. What does the word say about that? Mm -hmm. What does the word say about that? We'll be watching the news and we'll just, we'll just speak to whatever situation yes, is, is, there do. is and we'll say there's an awakening for that. There's an awakening for that. There are things going on right now in all parts of the country. you might bind the strong man. He might yeah. bind the devil in a certain situation. O or pray for those individuals. I mean, you have to approach. We have power to bind and loose. When you are immersed in something, you become what you are immersed in. When you are single-minded on something, you are, you are single-minded on what you become immersed in. And I like the fact that we are immersed around here in the Word of God. Oh, yeah. I like the my, fact my. that we talk faith around this place. Thank God. We talk faith in our families. We don't, we don't submit to sickness, disease, poverty, lack, but we, we submit to the Word of I God. I think, George, there's about 30, what is it, 30-something, 30 36 maybe, children, grandchildren, mm. great-grandchildren. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They're all well. Yep. And they yep. all love God, yep. and they're they just, you know, not one rebellion. That's Why? Right. Because they were raised yes. in the Word of God. They were raised in the Word. Glory to God. Yes. To God be the glory. So we've learned, and I learned this a long time ago. I learned this from you and Kenneth a long time ago about becoming single-minded on the Word of God, and the scripture for that um, is John, James one five through eight. It says, "If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God." that gives to all men liberally and upbraideth not, Hallelujah. and it shall be given him. It's available. It's available. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. Nothing wavering. That's right. For he that wavers is like the wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man oh, is unstable in all of his ways. It says there, a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. Um, one time we were in the dining room over at the headquarters building, uh, having lunch with a group of people, you and Kenneth, and Terry and myself and several others. And um, so during this lunch, Kenneth got up, he was going to go get something to drink or something. And I, he had his Bible open to this chapter. And I looked over there over into his Bible and uh, he had written down there next to the phrase, it says, a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. A single-minded man is stable yes, in all amen. of his ways. That's right. A single, stable, single on my, stable on the Word of God. So this right here, this principle of total immersion, becoming single-minded. I am single-minded on the vision that we've been given by the Lord for this, for this ministry. I'm single-minded on the things that Terry and I are believing for and actively. We, with their things, Gloria, that we declare every single morning. Praise God. Every morning. 
Every morning we say this to each other. We declare the word of God. Yes. We begin, That's literally begin the day with the word of God. We'll say, and we've been saying this for several years now. I'll say, we are expecting our greatest blessing ever today Amen. because great grace is upon us all. We have victory over death. We have a manifestation of the love of God. We declare the glory of the Lord over this day, the manifested Amen. presence of God, the manifested goodness of God, the manifested power of God. And we'll just go on That's and on and, and on. <clears throat> it is, and it's in me and it's popping out. It's coming out from me. I have tithers rights. Wow. I'm, we are tithers. Yeah. And we declare the windows of heaven are open over us and the blessing is pouring out. Oh, yeah. We rebuke the devourer. God has rebuked the devourer we for our sake. We no man anything but to love him. Oh, no man anything. No debt. No debt whatsoever. So we, we are... We are, when you become single-minded on the Word of God, it takes your attention off the doubt, it takes your attention off the lack, and it puts it right back where it should be, on God's Word. A person who stays single-minded like on the Word will enlarge their capacity to receive from God. That's what happens. Amen. That's what happens. Hallelujah. And, and we, a couple of days ago, Gloria, we talked about Caleb. I and like in Numbers 14:24. It says, but my servant Caleb, because he had another spirit with him, had followed me That's where fully. the blessing is. That's there's it right there. Levels of blessing. Yes. But when you do that fully, there's no limit. He followed me fully. He followed right. me fully. Him will I bring into the land wherein he went, and his seed shall possess it. Amen. Caleb, Gloria, is, is an example to us of faith. I mean, when you think about Caleb, you think about a man who was just focused, totally focused before they went into the land. He was focused. That's what God said. That's what God said. Caleb stayed single-minded on the Word for 45 years. Hallelujah. 45 years, this man would not let go. I call it bulldog faith. Mm -hmm. He bit down on the vision and would not let go of it until it was time to go into the land. Praise God. And I read from Joshua chapter 14. You have those scriptures mm -hmm. there before you on your paper. From Joshua 14, this is about Caleb. And it says, he says, I was 40 years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me to Kadesh Barnea to spy out the land. And I brought back word to him as it was in my heart. Nevertheless, my brethren who went up with me made the heart of the people melt, but I wholly followed yeah, the yeah. Lord my God. He was focused, Amen. focused, focused, focused on the word of God. And it says in verse 10 and 11, and now behold, the Lord has kept me alive. So the Lord knew what he was, of course. Yeah. That's why he sent him. That's right. That's why, that's why he sent him. And he ended up in the archives of Heroes. We're talking about him on worldwide television yes, right I'm now, in. Caleb. And so these 45 years, these 45 years, think about that, Gloria. <clears throat> Standing in years. faith for 45 years. You yeah, know what, what I comes? I like that that uh, says, and now behold, the Lord has kept me alive as he said these 45 years. Mm -hmm. Now listen, get to this part. Okay. Ever since the Lord spoke this word to Moses. Ever since he spoke it. Ever since he heard it. Yep. Yeah, yeah. He, Moses yeah. spoke it. He heard it. He stayed with it. Glory yeah, you to have God. to stay with this. Oh, yeah. You have to stay with this. There'll you have be to... a lot of voices telling you things aren't working. Exactly. And, and, you know, this thing on the news and that thing on the news. And, oh, our investments are not going to be any good. And Right. No, we right. don't pay attention to that. Mm -mm. No. Well, you... Our investments is in the kingdom of God, first of all. Then the other things yes. we do, that's just extra. But our main investment is in our tithing and that's our it. sowing. That's and it. And nothing in the world can affect that. Can't touch it. Can't stop nope. it. Can't diminish nope. it. It's there. And we nope. get the benefits of it. And we stay so single-minded on that, we Gloria, do. that when, when you are single-minded and you become immersed in the Word of God and your faith begins to develop and grow on the inside, Less and less will the doubt and the negativity affect That's you. True. You'll hear something <clears throat> and, and it, it will, it'll roll off your back. I mean, it will just roll off your shoulders and it won't, it won't affect you. It won't bother you. On the contrary, you'll right. know exactly what to do. And my, 
My quest is to become so full of the Word of God that anything that happens, my first response is what does the Word say? My first response is is whenever the devil tries to put the squeeze on you, the only thing that comes out of you is This is the victory that overcomes the world, even my faith. That's what comes up and out of you. And that's one of the scriptures that we declare every day, Gloria. Amen. This is the victory that overcomes the world. Now listen to this about Caleb. Still here in verses 10 and 11, he said, These 45 years, ever since the Lord spoke his word to Moses, while Israel wandered in the desert, and now, here I am this day, 85 years old. Hallelujah. And yet I am as strong this Ooh, day like on the day that Moses sent me, just as my strength was then. As on the so, day. So, as on yes. the, that's right. Yeah. And yet I am as strong this day uh-huh. as, as on the day yeah. that Moses sent me. Just as my strength was then, so is my strength awesome? for war, both for going out and for coming in. Hallelujah. I am so inspired so by this man. So he had supernatural strength. He had supernatural strength and he never because took... Because he was a word man. He never took his eyes off the goal. He never took his eyes off the off Canaan land, off That's the right. promised land. He just kept focused it. on it. He kept focused on it. You need to keep focused on whatever need that you might have, you keep focused on your debt freedom. You keep focused yeah. on paying off that car. You keep That's focused right. on coming into a place where you're not living from paycheck to paycheck and you're not, you're not living from bill to bill, but you need to be focused on Amen. the fact that all of your bills are paid <clears throat> according to his riches and glory. <clears throat> I, was, I was doing bills the other day, Gloria, and there was once a time when I was doing bills and I've done the bills at our household ever since. Uh, Terry's tried to fire me a couple of times and she's she taken it back, but she just wouldn't quit. She, I just kept going. But there were times when I'd have to sit and figure out, well, I can pay part of this now and I can move that over to that month and do. We've come into a place, Gloria, where every, pay, every, every time we pay our bills, Praise they're paid God. in full. Hallelujah. And one of the great That's things, gr- great thing about it is we don't owe on our house. We don't have some, some crazy... Uh, mortgage yeah. on the house, that battle was won. You know, there, there comes to me right now, there are two things that you can order that will help you that Gloria have taught, and I have taught on the broadcast. We did a series called 21 Days to Your Debt Freedom. And I'll t- if you're interested in getting out of debt and you want to get totally immersed, you get a hold of that. It and there, works. There's another one called How to Believe God for a House. Yes, I remember And we did that. 10 days of How to Believe God for a House. And you get those two things, you put them together and you listen to that and you get totally immersed in the Word. Whatever you do, get, get yourself single-minded and focused on the Word of God. That's, now, those were great <clears throat> service uh, broad, teachings. Those teachings. were great things that, that, I mean, you taught me and then we taught them. In verse 12, this is the second page. (laughs) Now, therefore, give me this mountain of which the Lord spoke in that day. Mm -hmm. For you heard in that day how the Anakin were there and that the cities were great and fortified. It's right here on the top of this. There we go. That's where we are. I was looking at the the word that he was, that had inspired him. Oh, the word that inspired him. Mm -hmm. It may be that the Lord will be with me and I shall be able to drive them out as the Lord said. The, the, The spirit of faith was all over this man. He's 85 years old and he says, let me at him. Let me at him. I'm ready for war. I'm going to do whatever. And I really, as as I get older, Gloria, I aspire to be that way. I aspire. You are that way, George. I am that way. I aspire to continue to be that way. You know, in this this script I'm reading, Mm that will is emphasized in italics. It may be that the Lord will be with me mm. and I shall be able, I shall be I able shall to, be drive, able them to drive them out as the yep. Lord has said. Yep. Well, the Lord will be with you as long as you're with him. As long as you're acting on the word. The Lord will be with you. That's good, Gloria. As long as you be with him. him. <clears throat> That's no, good. It's a different That's situation. good. Yeah, it is. This verse 14, Hebron therefore became the inheritance of Caleb, the son of uh, Jephthah, the Kenizzite, to this day because he wholly followed the Lord God of Israel. Hallelujah. You know that I'm a Kenizzite? No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know that. We're, we're all Kenizzites Ken, Ken around K-E-N. here. Oh, I mm-hmm. got it. 
<laughs> I must be a real Kenizzite. You're, you are a, <laughs> you're a real Kenizzite. Galatians 6, 9 says in the Amplified, do not lose heart and grow weary no. and faint and acting nobly and do right, doing right. For in due time and at the appointed season, we shall reap if we do not loosen and relax our courage Don't and quit. faint. Don't quit. We need to be so focused on Praise the Word God. of God to become immersed. And the more focused you are, the greater your faith will become. That's right. The stronger your That's faith right. will become. And in the last few minutes here, we'll just go th down through some of these scriptures. Okay. Um, Single-minded, Proverbs 4.20, My son, attend to my words. Consent and submit to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your sight. That's single-minded. This is very important scripture here. That's single-minded. I, I find that when Aubrey is cor correcting her girls, especially mm -hmm. Kaylin, um, sh she will be correcting them and they'll try to look off. And, and Aubrey's saying, look at me, look at me. Look at me, <laughs> stay focused. That's what God's telling us. Yeah, Look at me. That's good. Look at me. Keep that's your eyes good. on me. <laughs> Here in verses 25 through 27 in Proverbs 4. Let your eyes look right on with yeah. fixed purpose yeah. and let your gaze be straight before you. Consider well the path of your feet and let all of your ways be established and ordered aright. Do not turn aside from the right hand or to the left. Remove your yeah. foot from eagle. E evil. Says. In the message translation, that verse 27 says, ignore all sideshow distractions. I see that says ignore all sideshow, all distractions. All distractions. This says consent and submit to mm -hmm. my words. Attend, mm -hmm. give attention to give my attention. words. Yep. And instead of what yep. the world says, the bank says, the news says. Give attention to my word. You know, that's where victory is, George. That's where it is. If you don't give attention to his words, you're not going to walk in supernatural that's right. victory. The you'll more, be moved off of it. The more focused you are on yeah, the word, that's right. the more your capacity to receive will enlarge. That's, and the Lord, you know, dealt with us about giving the word of God first place, first place. and final authority. And final authority. Yep. And those two things <laughs> brought us victory, Whatever we've asked for, we That's received. Right. We might not have received it in 24 hours, but we received it. Yes, ma'am. We're living in it. We're riding in it. Yep. We're flying in it. We're wearing it. Whatever it was, we're driving <laughs> That's right. it. That's driving Isn't that it, right? flying it, wearing it. That's right. Glory it, to you God. You stayed single-minded on the Word of God, and you are still single-minded. We are, absolutely. That's what I love about them we're not so much. We're going to quit that. My, my. My All mind. right. So where are you here? I Ignore think we're at the end of the. the I think we're at the end of our teaching. That's where. Are Don't we running out of time? Don't get sidetracked. Oh, look at that. Three. Don't get sidetracked. Three, Don't two. Don't get sidetracked. <laughs> George and I'll be right back. We hope you enjoyed this teaching from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. Download the notes at kcm.org/notes.